In this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why low G is better on ukulele. If you stick around, we might even get funky and get a little distortion going. All right, welcome to You Like the Pros. I'm Terry Carter. This is gonna be a fun video. I'm gonna give you the five reasons why low G is better than high G for your ukulele. And uh, I can't wait to see what you think about this. I'm sure I'm gonna hear a bunch of comments below on this, but uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, turn on that bell notification. So low G, what the heck is low G? What's high G? What's the difference between the two? Well, we're not really gonna get into that. I do have videos on low G versus high G, but I'm just gonna give you the reasons why the low G is better for your ukulele. All right, what should we do here? Let me just do one little short piece of play and I'm gonna get into those five reasons. Well, that's one of the reasons right there, but that's not the first reason <laughs> why this is. But number one reason why low G is better than high G on your ukulele is the sound. That low G, boom, boom. What does that mean? I'll do a quick, quick thing on this. Low G for ukuleles, we have our tuning A, E, C, and then that fourth string is G. Now, a lot of ukuleles come with a high G, and I'll show you that in a second. But this is a low G, meaning a, a little bit of a thicker string. It's not just tuning it different, it's actually a thicker string, and it gives you this little bit of this extra warm. Little bit of that extra bass. Which is just really nice, gives you a little bit of a bigger, fuller sound with the low G. Now, let me grab my high G. Now, this one has a high G on it, so the tuning's the same. You got the A, E, C, and you do have the G here, but now this has a high G, meaning that fourth string is thinner and it actually gives you a higher pitch sound. Actually, th this G is actually the same if you take the second string, third fret, that's the same note. So, if you notice when I play now, It has a much crisper, brighter sound, and you don't have that kind of that low warmth bass sound that I think is fantastic for the low G. All right, so that's one of the reasons. Now, that was a high G, that was low G. This is low G. This thing right here is a bomb, by the way. This is my Koloha Mango Tenor. Check them out at youcutthepros.com. Actually, store.youcutthepros.com. All right, the number two reason. By the way, what do you think? Are you a high G player or are you low G? Do you have one of each? That's probably the best way to go, but because this video is about why it's best, we definitely gotta have a low G for your ukulele. All right, the number two reason <laughs> why the low G is better than high G on ukulele is the wide variety of styles that you can actually make sound better, more authentic because of the low G. What styles would I be talking about here? Hmm, maybe the blues. Maybe jazz, maybe some country, maybe some bossa nova. Should I demonstrate? Let me show you what exactly what I mean by that. Now, I played that earlier, that's the blues. You can't get. You can't get that on a high G, you don't. You can try. You can try, you high G people. You ain't gonna get that sound right there. All right, what else? What other style really works for? How about a little Johnny Cash? Any Johnny Cash fans out there? Let me know. can't get that alternating bass that boom 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 chaka boom chaka boom you can't get that on high g so if you're into johnny cash that classic country sound boom you got to have low g what's another style All right, how about 
call some bossa nova. Whew, that's kind of a hard piece right there. A little blue boss right there, but you can't get that. It's almost like that country. You can't get that real nice bass sound. All right, bossa nova, blues, country, what else? All right, how about jazz? Now, I know I can get a little slack from some of my friends out there that like to play jazz on the high V, but it sounds way better because you get that bass note with that bass note sound with that. Now, those are just four styles. I think everything sounds better on the low G. What about you? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. All right, the number three reason, by the way, thanks for being here and smashing that like button, is for soloing. Literally, when you have a low G, you actually have an extra string. Without, without the low G, you basically have three strings. <laughs> you have three strings. And so with, with this, and oh yeah, there it is. It just adds a little bit of extra low end to your soloing, gives you extra range with it. So when I'm soloing, for me, <laughs> is it you too? Low G all the way for soloing. All right, what could be number four? All right, now number four is, I almost kind of covered it number three by accident, but you have that bigger range. Remember with the high G, you're a little bit limited because of that high G. Let me show you. When you have this high G, you're a little bit limited. Let me play that scale again. Wait, what? It just doesn't work because you don't have that extra range by doing it. By the way, I'm just playing the A minor pentatonic or the blues scale. But again, when you have that, that extra range. Yeah, so you're gonna have extra range. It's gonna it literally gives you four strings instead of the high G. Basically, you have three strings and a great string for doing some strumming with. <laughs> I know I'm getting a little slack on that. Leave a comment below if you disagree or agree with what I'm saying. All right, the last one, number five here of why I think the low G is the best way to go with your ukulele is the bass movement, okay? So when you have like a little thing like what I was doing there. I take it the major there at the end. It doesn't matter. You get the point of that, that bass movement. Matter of fact, there's tons and tons of progressions that you can do that on without that. They sound okay. They do sound okay, but you kind of miss it. Let me give you one more example here. Right? It just really has that nice. Sound with it that you just cannot get with the high G. All right. So those are five reasons why the low G is better than the high G. Let's recap those real quick. Number one reason why low G is better is because of the sound, the warmth, the fullness that you get with that low G. Number two is the styles that you can play, the blues, jazz, country, bossa nova, they just sound better, they sound more authentic with the low G. Number three, it just works better when you're soloing. Having that extra range, that low G string. Number four is that bigger range, that extra string, the low note that you can get with it that you just miss when you have the high G. And number five is the bass movement that you get when you're doing chord progression. Now you actually have that low end and it really sounds cool when you're changing between these chords.
Oh, yeah, you almost forgot. Matter of fact, I did forget. <laughs> but I got it before the end of the video. What I did here was I did bring out the distortion pedal for this one. I guess that's another reason is you can add really cool power chords, the DS1, Boss DS1, the old stand-along distortion pedal. But anyway, the power chords sound really cool. You can add some distortion to them. They sound absolutely fan. Fantastic, just like you heard there. But anyway, uh, those are the five reasons. I thank you for being here. Hopefully you you, you learned something. You uh, you had a little fun. You agreed with me. You disagreed with me. Uh, either way, I do appreciate you being here. I appreciate the comments, smashing that like button, and subscribing to the channel. If you dig what we're doing, check out youcollectthepros.com. We have fantastic courses, membership. We got even a bunch of free stuff over there as well to get you going and be part of the You Collect the Pros Nation. So anyway, that was it, the five reasons why the low G is better.